transformation of the heart continues. You know, and it really is <laughs> from the inside out that we are changed. And I think about appearance and beauty and how so many times I feel so ugly and others have said that they see beauty in me and I'm like, how can you see beauty in me when I don't take very good care of my physical body and I certainly don't um, respond and react in the best manner many times. But maybe it is that because I am never going to stop seeking after God, never. <laughs> that is a never that I will say. Many other nevers I won't say, but I will say that never. Lord, I just love you so much, and I thank you for all that you're teaching me. And even as I crash and fail, and I feel like I'm not going to be able to pick myself up again, you do. Every time you do. And you give me um, songs that play through my head to encourage me to just keep on going. Because... Um, complicate it with all my thoughts and wonderings and attempts to be in relationship with people that are hurting too and wounded and just oh lord it just gets so messy sometimes and I'm so messy many times but I trust you God that you are doing a good work in my heart and you are renewing me and creating me into a woman <laughs> a woman that can um be a, a, a vessel of honor for you, Lord. Thank you so much. I love you for all that you've already done and what you will continue to do. And so I, I say so many times how much I love you, Lord, and so many words, words, words that I try to find in expressing that. And then um, in the teaching this morning that Jesus, um, where, where I've been led to study, regarding uh, the Lord's Prayer. And he says, this is how you pray. This is how you pray. It's simple. It doesn't have to be repetitious. And, okay, God. This song, Simply I Love You. It's not my song. It's a song of another's. But it goes through my head so many times and it encourages me that others are also seeking after you and looking for the words to express their love. And I do too. I've tried to find the words in my vocabulary But I've found that rather difficult to do when I've completed all attempts, the only words that make sense are simply, I love you. I've exhausted my search in my dictionary, but Webster's definitions are too few. When I reach the bottom line, the only words that come to mind I simply, I love you. I know your love is unfathomable. Your ways are unequivocal. Your heart is undeniably true. But it's virtually impossible to find the perfect syllables to describe the indescribable you. If I had the wisdom to articulate my feelings, I'd give a lecture impromptu. But I cannot elaborate or verbalize enough to say simply, I love you. How do I love thee? I could count forever. But that would really challenge my IQ. So let me make it plain. I'll repeat myself again. 
simply I love you I know your love is unfathomable your ways are unequivocal your heart is undeniably true but it's virtually impossible to find the perfect syllables to describe the indescribable you if i had the prudence to expound on my philosophy i'd pen the greatest thesis of all time socrates would envy me einstein would read my mind multitudes would congregate to hear me pontificate scientists would authorize the things that i hypothesize shakespeare would call me first before he wrote a single verse but this is just me without the ceremony i mean it so sincerely simply i love you jesus i love you father thank you so much thank you for your love for the air that i can breathe that i can i can learn to love Thank you, Lord, for your spirit that abides and teaches and shows and counsels and encourages and comforts and embraces. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you do. I simply love you.